Welcome to App Design Tips. I'm gonna share with you pro tips on how you can master responsive resize in Adobe XD. Responsive resize is a smart and powerful feature inside of Adobe XD that allows you to resize components, artboards, or groups in a responsive way that doesn't just skew the images or the shapes as you try to resize them. Now, many other competing tools have something similar, but you have to set a lot of constraints to get it to work exactly how you want. And with Adobe XD's responsive resize, it does a lot of the work for you. And if there are any errors in the way that Adobe interprets these constraints, you can quickly make those changes manually. So I wanna demonstrate on this web page here. And by default, responsive resize is turned off. You can see here in the properties panel that it's turned off. So if I try to resize the artboard, nothing resizes with it. But also by default, if you select something such as this group, by default that responsive resize is turned on. And you can see here with this graphic, if I try to resize this here, it tries to be smart on how it resizes and keeps the people in line in this music note. And if I double click inside of here, you can see that this is grouped and this is grouped. If we ungroup these elements, then you'll see that some things start to get broken. So it does try its best, but if there's ever a question, if these things need to remain anyways, you can just select all of these guys and just group them and they're going to move in that responsive resize environment in a much smarter way. Now we tried this with the group, but we have some elements here that actually aren't grouped. So by default, when you select an object or multiple objects, even if they're not grouped, I can select and resize these and you can see these pink guides here. Let's zoom in. And you can see these pink guides here are showing how the responsive resize interprets each element and does a really good job. Now, if you're enjoying this video and you're brand new to Adobe XD, I actually have a course that teaches everything there is to know about Adobe XD. And I provide exercise files so you can follow along with me on a hands-on approach to designing a mobile application. If you're interested, there's a link in the description below and it has a steep discount applied to that link. So we'll come down here and if you're using components, it's a really nice and powerful feature for reusing different elements. So here we can see the section. I've created this as a component, but components are also responsive. So you can see here that it's doing a really good job keeping everything centered. And I can just use this over here, resize this however I want, and it still looks really clean. So let's go ahead and delete that. And really when we have a web page like this, let's test out the responsiveness here and how smart Adobe XD is in trying to interpret all of these elements when I turn responsive resize on the artboard. So I'm just going to check this box. I haven't set any constraints and we can see that these are individual items here, here, here. And when I select this and we start to resize, you can see everything start to interpret and almost everything does a perfect job. You can see here where it says, uh, invite guests to share their music. This starts to break a little bit. So just by dragging this, you can see where those mistakes are and it's very easy to resolve. First of all, all I have to do is hold down shift, select all of these guys and hold down command G or control G on the windows. Let's just group all of these. And once items are grouped, they'll stay within the same position relative to each other. So here now when I resize this, everything is moving a lot better. Now I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to set an even distribution and I'm going to center these on the artboard. And if you do a little bit of work that way and we start to resize this, you can see that it does a really clean job of distributing those evenly as you resize the artboard as well. Now I wanna show you what's going on here with pick your plan. So when I zoom in here, one of these guys, they're a component and the other ones are just simple elements. They're not even grouped and we wanna see how each of those behaves. So now when I resize the artboard, you can see that everything's staying together. It's interpreting all of these elements as if they were together. So it's doing a really good job that way. But here, there's something broken on this one. So I'm going to undo that resize. And I don't need to create a new component. I can if I want, but all I have to do here is just Command G or Control G on the windows and now everything is grouped. And I can try out just the responsiveness here and some things aren't set appropriately. So I wanna show you how to manually override constraints. So I can jump in here, just double click 
First of all, I would just want to make sure this is centered inside of here. But then I can come over here. You can see how the responsive resize is set to auto. I can set this to manual. And I say I want to fix the width and fix the height. And I want to keep this set on the bottom. And now when I go here, you can see it's resizing great. And even here it's sitting at the bottom. And here I want this to sit at the top. So I'm going to double click here, set this to manual, and constrain this to the top and still fix the width and the height. And this background right here, I want to set this to manual. And instead of fixing the height, I can set the height to constrain to the top and the bottom. And now when I resize this entire element, you can see it looks a lot cleaner. It looks a lot better. So Adobe, like I said, is going to do 80, 90% of the work. And all you have to do is just resize the entire artboard to see which elements are out of place. And it really takes 30 or 60 seconds to get those constraints to behave the way that you want and is much faster than manually having to go in and set each constraint for every single element. Now I ran a contest in my previous video for Adobe XD cups, some books and pencils and some different swag. So if you've watched the video top 10 plugins in Adobe XD and you've participated in that contest, check out those comments. I've responded to six people who have won that contest. So go ahead and see if your name's in there. I've only had one person respond so far. So there are five others that I still need to get this swag out to. So go ahead and let me know what your mailing address is and we'll get those out to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon.